Hi, Blake here at the Screen Innovations Galactic Headquarters. And man, this is a real treat because yeah, I've been with the company now for eight years and this is the first time I've been able to stand in front of three different types of ambient light rejection screen technologies. You know, Screen Innovations since the beginning, it's been our mission to bring to you the big screen experience with the lights on. And here we are doing just that but doing it in very different ways. You know, we're bringing this video to you because there's a lot more coming out in the ambient light rejecting category, but not all ambient light rejecting screens are created equal. For instance, our Black Diamond. Now, Black Diamond, we've said this for years, is the perfect screen for an imperfect world. But what makes it an ambient light rejecting screen? Well, first of all, Black Diamond is very unique in the fact that it's an optical screen. Essentially, what we're looking at is multiple layers of optics over a reflective surface. The light has to pass through the optics and back through the optics in order to complete the cycle. So because of this, we have very defined viewing cones in both the vertical and the horizontal. And that's one of the things that makes Black Diamond truly exceptional is because it's one of the only screens in existence that has ambient light rejection in the vertical, blocking all the lights from above, but also the horizontal, taking care of those windows, those reflective walls, wall sconces, and you know, lights all around. So what's going on here is we actually have both physical barriers to light that are rejecting, physically rejecting the light coming in from the left and the right and the top and the bottom. But not only are we rejecting ambient light, we're also adding contrast enhancement. That is the big deal. It's the contrast enhancing that really brings it home. And let me show you what I mean by this. I've got a standard 1.3 gain white piece of material right here. To my left and behind me here is the black diamond. Now, this was invented in-house here by Ryan Gustafson at Screen Innovations. I find that very important to point out because technically there's only two ambient light rejection screens on the market that are optically based. One is the what you see behind me here, the Black Diamond. The other, well, is sold by four other companies. Right, so what I'm saying is just because you're buying an ambient light rejection screen from another company doesn't mean that that screen was actually built by that company. Keep that in mind. Everything I'm gonna show you down this line, we again invented here at Screen Innovations. So Ryan worked for five years to bring out Black Diamond. We've had it on the market for 10 years and we're now on our 23rd version. Now we find it very exciting that many of our competitors are bringing out their first version of ambient light rejection screens. And I remind you that Black Diamond is on its 23rd version. But really what it comes down to is seeing is believing. So we've talked about all the ambient light rejection, but what about the contrast enhancement? Well, here you go. I'm using a piece of 1.3 gain white material, right? White material versus a 1.4 gain black diamond. And suddenly where the white material is, it goes flat. See, it's not the projector's fault. It's the screen's fault. White screens were never designed to work in high bright environments. And if you think about it, let me just say this out loud, it'll probably make a whole lot of sense. How do you project an absence of light onto a white surface in a bright room using a light bulb? Yeah, <laughs> that's why it doesn't work. See, with Black Diamond, we're rejecting all the bad light, but we're also enhancing the contrast, and enhancing the contrast is what gives us color, depth of field, and image. Not this flat, washed out image. Look at that, see how the blacks turn gray? Even the blue looks like it's not real anymore. Look at that, right? Black Diamond preserves the performance of your projector better than any screen out there. So that's Black Diamond. Now, as I mentioned to you, optical screens have a limitation in height. You know, I can wrap this whole room in one continuous piece of Black Diamond, but I can't make it much higher than what you see it now. So we put a challenge to Ryan and Tom to make us a new material that was ambient light rejecting, could also be motorized and rolled, and could also be perfed with tiny little holes to make an acoustically transparent material. Well, I'm happy to announce that after three years of development, we now have Slate on the far right. Now, Slate 1.2 gain material. Now we have two Slate materials. We have our 1.2 gain and we have our 0.8 gain. Both are exceptional and different in how they work from Black Diamond. I mentioned to you before how Black Diamond had multiple layers of optics that the light had to pass through twice in order for the ambient light rejecting and contrast enhancement to work. What we've done with Slate is we've kept it all on the surface. Slate is a surface ambient light rejecting contrast enhancing material. Check out the difference here with our 1.3 gain white material here and Slate. Look at how the blacks drop off. Again, a flat image. Blues are beautiful on slate, but again, flat and barely noticeable here on our 1.3 gain white material. 
Again, same projector shooting the image on both surfaces. The other thing we can do with slate, and what we're doing right now with this material behind me, is we can punch tiny little holes in it and place your speakers directly behind the screen material. So this material I'm standing in front of right now is the world's first ambient light rejecting, contrast enhancing, acoustically transparent material. So there's a lot of advantages of using slate versus a black diamond. There's a lot of advantages of using black diamond versus slate. Both are long throw materials. In the middle is our short throw material. This is a great revolution that's kicking into high gear right now. The short throw revolution is being led by Screen Innovations with our new ST material. I know it looks like black diamond, but it's not. It's actually a very, very different type of material. For one, you can tell because I'm walking in front of the screen and there's no shadow and there would be a lot of shadow, right? So basically what we're looking at is mini blinds stacked on top of a highly reflective surface. And all I've done is turn the rod and the mini blinds are opening up and only allowing the light up from the floor to be reflected back to the viewer. All the light from here to here is rejected by the screen. This is cool. Let me show you this little sample, more magic trick here. Nothing on my sleeves, right? What color do you see? Right now you're seeing black, correct? How about now? Ooh, look, we'll do it again. There you go, isn't that cool? Very cool, and I'm doing it very slow for you. Watch this. So again, the light is being rejected by the screen. Everything from here to here is rejected. So what that means is we can have a very bright window directly behind the projector, firing directly into the ST material. ST will reject that light coming directly at the screen and give you an amazing image. So here we go. Here's our 1.3 white again material. We'll put that up here in front of ST and the same thing has happened, All right? Contrast enhancement and ambient light rejection must go hand in hand or you just have a screen that rejects ambient light. So with our contrast enhancement here on ST, imagine conference room table, and then we've got a credenza, just drop the projector into the credenza, okay? This is opening up a world of possibilities. So why are we here? Well, in this room alone, I've shown you three different ways to do ambient light rejection. That's right, three ways in this one room we wanted to clarify things for you. We wanted you to know that not all ambient light rejecting screens are created equal, which is interesting to say again, because right now there's five companies selling ambient light rejecting optical screens, but only two companies are making them and we're one of them. And we don't share our technology with anybody else. Now I challenge you, the designers, the consultants out there, it's time to make that leap. Let us work with you. We've got a great team to help you with that first, that second, that third project to get you over that hump We've got a great set of tools on our website. The Screen Wizard is the best CYA tool on the planet. I encourage you guys to use it. Follow our process, use our methods, most importantly, use our materials with your favorite projector, and I challenge you to take the ALR challenge. We're here at Screen Innovations, and remember, it's a fun job, somebody's gonna do it.